Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own silicone mold box to cast a silicone mold that you can inject polyurethane into to create your own high grade manufactured parts. Let's get into it. First, we inspect the model to see how thick of a mold we need to design and check for any awkward angles or holes the part may have. We are assessing exactly what style of mold we think is best for the part. For this model, we've decided a sleeve mold will be best due to how hollow and thin the part is. Our design team is specially trained in Fusion 360 to design a variety of molds based on the part you send us. We'll find exactly the right method needed to ensure your mold produces the highest quality parts. The reason we're creating an offset instead of just a standard box is to conserve the most amount of silicone we can while still ensuring accuracy and support. Next, we extrude down and duplicate the extrusion to create the sleeve. The sleeve acts as the mold box to pour in the silicone and will also provide stability to the mold when we're injecting polyurethane into it. Cuts in the sleeves are created to ensure the sleeve can easily be separated after our silicone hardens and we need to use the sleeves again to support the mold during injection. We're going to fillet the sleeve edges in order to provide more durability to the mold. Now we'll create an inner support piece. This piece will support the inside portion of the silicone mold. It will ensure proper alignment and thickness of the produced part. We'll create a bar to assist with the removal of the inner support piece. We extend the sleeve and inner support piece. This is to ensure enough silicone can be poured to provide a sturdy base for the sleeve mold to be flipped inside out after casting apart. Next, we create holes in the sleeve to ensure proper alignment. Now we can design the bottom piece that holds all the components together. The bottom plate acts as a caddy to help align the sleeve and inner support piece for every injection. Lastly, we'll extend the inner support piece up a little bit so it remains flush with the bottom piece. And there you have it. That's how you can create your very own mold box in order to pour silicone to create your own silicone sleeve mold. If you don't have time to create your own mold box or want us to do it for you, we do have a design as a service system. The process is quite simple. You send us the model you want to produce, and our professional designers will create your mold while simultaneously recording the design process. This way, you can either let us design your mold or follow the process and design it for yourself. Check out the design as a service portion of our website at dos.nacog.com. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas for designs or parts of the process you want us to show in the next video. We're planning to turn these videos into a series, so stay tuned for more. And that's how you create your very own sleeve mold box. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.